Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to your 18th tutorial in the Intermediate Algebra Playlist. In this tutorial, I'm going to begin to discuss algebraic properties. So the first algebraic property that we're going to discuss is the commutative property. And there's the commutative property of addition, and there's the commutative property of multiplication. So this really comes from the, the root word commute, which basically means to move, move around. So the commutative property says that we can move the order of, of the addition and the multiplication. So they can commute around. So that's like saying some number A plus some number B can be changed by moving the A and B into different places, commuting them, so that it reads B plus A. So this is like saying 3 plus 4 is the same thing as 4 plus 3. We just change the order. We commute the numbers. So these both, 3 plus 4 equals 7, 4 plus 3 equals 7. So that's really the commutative property of addition right there. Now the commutative property of multiplication is really similar. And it basically says we can do the same thing with multiplication. If we have some number A times some number B, then we could just commute those two numbers and rewrite it as B times A. So we could say that this time our A is 5 and our B is 4. Well, by the commutative property of multiplication, that means that 5 times 4 is equal to 4 times 5, and they both equal 20. So that is the commutative property of addition and multiplication. So next we're going to move to the associative property. So let's write down the associative property here. And that also has two different types, the associative property of addition and the associative property of multiplication. So the associative property of addition basically means that we can have some number A and then add some number B to it. And then when we get that result, we can add that to a third number C. And the associative property of addition tells us that's the same as taking the number B, adding it to the C first, and then adding that result to the A. So this would be like saying A is 4. We'll just choose B to be 3. And we'll choose C to be 2. So rewriting the same values for A, B, and C over here, we're just going to write 4 plus 3 plus 2. So 4 plus 3 is 7. So we have 7 plus 2. And that should be equal to 4 plus 3 plus 2, adding the part in the parentheses first. 4 plus 3 plus 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. Don't really need that anymore since we've done the operations in there. So this is saying that 7 plus 2 should be equal to 4 plus 5, and they both equal 9. 7 plus 2 equals 9, and 4 plus 5 equals 9. So that demonstrates the associative property of addition. Now the associative property of multiplication is pretty close to the same thing. It's saying that we can take some number A, multiply it by a number B, take that result and multiply it by number C, and then that should be equivalent to multiplying the B times the C first, and then multiplying that result by the A. So if we were to use the same numbers as we used here, we could just write 4 for the A, 3 for the B, and 2 for the C. And once again, 4 for the A, 3 for the B, 2 for the C. So we do the um, operation in the parentheses first. 4 times 3 is going to give us 12. Then we have 12 times 2. And in this side, we do what's in the parentheses first. So this is going to be 3 times 2 is going to be 6. And we multiply that by the 4. And it turns out that 12 times 2 is equal to 24. And 4 times 6 also equals 24. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here. In the next tutorial, I'll be discussing the um, distributive property. And uh, so, yeah, we'll carry on with the distributive property in the next lesson. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.